Hi, my name is Sam Kippen and my student number is T00698764. I'm going to be doing a video today on blood draw collections. So we're going to be doing a couple different collections. We're going to be doing jugular on my stuffed animal cat and dog. And then we're also going to be doing the lateral and medial saphenous veins. Uh, this is my mom. She's going to be here helping with restraints today for the animals. So we can do a demonstration on how we would normally do a restraint for blood draws. Uh, so first we're going to start by prepping our areas. So for the purpose of this video, let's pretend that what I have in here is alcohol that we're having in our clinic. And we're going to pretend that this is a gauze square. So if you can restrain Charlie, our German short hair pointer, so we can be prepping the jug area, jugular area. We're going to be taking a small amount, a small amount of our alcohol here for prep. So I'm going to be, I want to make sure that you can feel, you should be able to go by feel on the jugular to prep it. If you can't feel it and it's not really popping up for you, you can shave, but in this case I can see it, I can feel it, I don't need to shave. So I'm taking the alcohol and prepping the area here. That's all we need to do there. We're all set. Now for the blood draws, Today we're going to be doing six mils. We've been instructed by our doctor to do a complete blood count and to do a comprehensive diagnostic profile. So for that, we're going to want to make sure that we have our tubes ready. I've got a red top tube, so it has no clot activation in this. So we want to make sure my lid is off or at least loose so that way I'm not fiddling around once I do have my blood in my syringe because if I have it in there, what can happen is if it takes me a long time to take these lids off, we can end up with some uh, hemolysis in our sample. So all of my lids are off. You can see that I do have clotting agents in these two tubes. So these tubes, I'm gonna fill up before I fill up this one here, my red top tube. So I need a six mil syringe. Opening my six mil here. Now, I'm going to use a 22 gauge needle. That's what this is here. Now, I'm going to want to make sure that I'm occluding my vein. So I'm going to press down. I've already felt my jugular, I can feel it. I'm pressing down on the jugular here. The anatomical landmarks of this, so I'm going to feel where my trachea is. I can feel my trachea there. I'm going to be lateral to the trachea. So I found where my mark is, I can feel my vein. I'm occluding it with my thumb here, ensuring that my bevel is up. And then I want to make sure that I can go in. So I'm in the vein now and I'm drawing back. Okay, I've got a full six mils. That's great, so I can come out. So I wanna make sure that I have someone hold that. So put your fingers on this right here and really put pressure on. Taking my needle off. Okay, I'm putting half a mil into my purple top tube, half a mil into my green top, and they can put the rest of it into my red top there. Now I'm putting the lids on on my purple and green first. And I'm wanting to make sure that I really invert both of these tubes several times. This will also help to ensure that hemolysis is not occurring in your tubes. So really inverting there. That's great. And then I can put the lid on here of my red top. Now I want to make sure that I label these tubes. So I'm going to label it with patient name, Charlie. The last name is Kippen. Charlie's date of birth, let's say it's 010120. It was done in Port Carling, that's the name of our clinic. And the date is today. Oh. 
So I've labeled those two, and now I'm labeling this, again, with the patient's name, the patient's last name, and the date. And we're all set there.